some unlikely worlds colliding. Hollywood A-listers known for their style, now putting a spotlight on the true cost of some cheap fashion. And what does the UN have to do with it? Here's ABC's Sarah Haynes. Actress Rosario Dawson is on a mission. Far from the red carpet. That's that amazing. To create sustainable fashion that tells a story. <laughs> People are paying attention to things they hadn't been paying attention to before. It's not just going, look, it's, it's sparkly. It's going, no, but it's sparkly, and that doesn't seem sustainable. Teaming up with her childhood friend, Abrima, the duo launching Studio 189, empowering women and local artists in pursuit of conscious couture. How can we make sure that we're giving something really special and quality? That's why her dyeing skills is really important, makes it unique and special. And so that's what you're supporting. And unlike fast fashion, where it's like you're getting something for little, very little, it's like, well, if I'm not paying for it, then who is? Dawson, part of a growing number of tastemakers, pushing back against fast fashion arguing that the environmental and human cost far outweigh that cheap price tag. We have to be thinking about what it means to be making clothes and how you make them and the implications of how you make them. But ethical isn't cheap. It's not more expensive because we're making more money. It's because basically we're addressing negative external costs. You and I have to take responsibility of just asking the question, what is the social and environmental impact you're making just then. What are you doing now? This ethos woven into the fibers of Rosario's designs, part of a UN fashion initiative to promote social change in the developing world. The whole purpose of going into this was never about this handout sort of idea. It's just about partnership. We're really trying to change that narrative. It's not charity, it's just work. This idea of community and, and collaboration, it's looking at what everyone's already doing. They're working with each other, they're, they're doing this work already. It's how can we amplify that? It's looking at Aggie and she's going, I wanna do vocational training. It's looking at Helen going, I want more, more work for my ladies. It's Mr. CD who's going, hey, let me show you how I make my beads. And they say that, you know, picture is worth a thousand words and the art that we're making has a lot to say. For Nightline, I'm Sarah Haynes in New York. To find out more about what's driving actors and tastemakers who want to change the way we dress, check out our Times 2 YouTube channel, Two Takes on One Story.